Hello, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural Poor Choices Show. I'm your host, Chris. I am joined by my co-host, David. Now let's make some poor choices. All right, everyone. So welcome. Like I said, inaugural episode of Poor Choices Show. It's my best friend of going on. Oh, man. What are we at? 20. I think I'd say. I tried doing the math the other day. It was eighth grade, right? Oh, seven. Oh, two. Oh, three. Four. Oh, four. Right on 20,000. Two years. Yeah. Long time. Long time. Friend. Yeah. Both. Born and raised in Maryland, all right, just outside of Annapolis. When did you come to Florida? I came to Florida in, so it was September of 2012. Never looked back. And what brought you to Florida, my good sir? The, the good old U.S. of A. Yeah, uh, right. Joined the joined the military, the Air Force, in 2012. Stationed up at in Eglin, up in the Panhandle of Florida, for four years. Got out, brought my my talents to the Melbourne area. Was there? For well, let's be let's be specific on talents. I could it's, stand. I think it's some, too, you know. Well, that was not the talents that brought me down, though. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> that's that's the the previous talent. Yeah, fair, fair. And I don't even know if what I'm doing now you could call talent. Maybe for some people, but uh, absolutely, de- yeah. definitely more qualified people making less money. Okay. Yeah. Well. So yeah, we were there for uh for how long? From 2018? Is that when we So I moved down there August 2017 up uh, to the Panhandle. To the Panhandle in Destin. Right. We came to the Melbourne area, Melbourne, Florida in uh February 2018. That's right. I don't know how I forget that one. That was uh, I had to sit and sit and watch the Eagles win a Super Bowl that year, waiting to waiting to close on the house. That was the Nick Foles year, huh? Bullshit. Yeah, it sure was. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah. So we've been um, been in Florida since for me and myself, like I said, seventeen and David twenty twelve. Well, you guys all heard us crack a brew. What are you sipping on today, sir? I am sipping on an apple pie sour Ooh. from Ooh. Distill. Okay. Their seasonal sour ale is inspired by the flavors of the classic American apple pie dessert. Brewed with tart apple and cinnamon flavors and lactose, this ale hits all the notes with a light body and tart finish. Is it like a, uh, do you feel like it's like a, like you're drinking Christmas kind of thing? Like it's like a holiday-ish kind of? No. Like it's, uh, yourself drinking it in July or like? Yeah. Okay. It's not heavy and it's not, the flavor is not like super potent. It's like light, okay. refreshing. Chris. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, I got, how about you? What are we, uh, what are we sipping? Well, here, I got, I got the can for you. Let's see if I can get on us here. This is a, uh, rainbow sherbet from Prairie Artisan Ales. And all I got is it's a sour ale with white rainbow sherbet flavor. Well, let's hope your uh, hope your shit don't turn purple. Yeah, it doesn't taste like sherbet. I'll be completely honest. What does it taste like? Uh, candy. I mean, it's good. It's good, um, but it's just it's a pretty. If you're looking for a sweet sour, that's definitely this is a that's good, but. That's it. I don't know if I can have more than one or two. Yeah, fair for everybody that uh, either is or will one day be watching or listening. Our uh, our ultimate goal is to do one of these per episode, but we're trying to get the same beer so we can taste and rate. Yes, see if we have comparable either feelings about them or whatever it is. Right. I mean, we had a little. Let's make it a little. Uh, 
Yeah, just so we're drinking the same thing. Maybe at, at the end of the year we'll uh, we'll rate our our favorites. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we had we had a little bit of a dilemma trying to get the same ones this week, but hopefully moving forward we'll uh, try and pair them up a little bit. Cool. So, did you want to tell everyone why we started this? The podcast? Yeah. Not drinking. We've been we've been doing that for a while now. <laughs> well, when we were living in the same area, I mean, we hung out almost on a weekly basis, if not like twice a week, even when we were living together for a short while there, just conversations together. And, we, you know, you go down your rap holes. And like I said, we're best friends that we've been best friends for a long time. And conversation would get to the point where we would just look at each other and go, man, we could, we could record this. Yeah, we could, we could do this for a living. Put it out there. Right. I feel like somebody would enjoy it. So that's our hope and goal is just, it's just, you know, just, Two dudes that are trying to to do much, but at the same time, it's entertaining. So it's, it's, right, you know, just trying trying to keep in touch. You know, I used to come over on the weekends for football and go a week without seeing each other, and you just always bring bring some stuff to talk about, and so yeah. that's our goal with this. So get the little bit of COVID esque feeling back. Uh, it back does. We used to have does. the Zoom parties, but mm-hmm. hey, we got to do what we got to do. Absolutely, yeah, I like it. So to start off, we're going to hit Mr. David here with, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Now, this gentleman has a master's degree, so I hope these don't go too, too far over his head, but we're going to find out right now. We don't have to play the game. I can answer that question for you. (laughs) I am not smarter than a fifth grader. (laughs) Well, I'm going to say that you are and that you're going to go five for five here. That's my guess. That's my guess. All right, so the first grade question is going to be straight out of English slash language arts. All right. I want you to answer this question. In the story about the boy who cried wolf, what is the lesson? Is there like a a specific verbiage? That or do I just have to try to convert? Pretty simple. That? Don't overthink it. Yeah. Don't ever think it. Thing. I, don't lie, I guess, would be. Yeah, yeah. So always uh, tell the truth. Yeah. yeah. Is that what they're going for? That's it. Okay, fair. So there you go. All right. Second grade, we're going to go to a different subject. We're going to go second grade geography. It's probably a good spot to put that any, any further, and I probably wouldn't get it. <laughs> All right. What is the smallest continent? The smallest, I mean, you got a one of seven. How many are there? <laughs> you got seven. So my first thought was Australia. Okay, but what's your second guess? Through... We need I'm to run through them. Are you like I'm thinking between two? Uh, Europe. Okay, Europe's Europe's there. Australia is more like condensed, so it's easier to picture that. I'm trying to picture Europe. <laughs> what do you As What do you see? Mostly the map. Okay. It's not like a guy like some leader hosing. No, 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 no. No. Uh, Euro trip has made its flashes in there, but. All right. So let's see. We got North America, South America, Asia, Europe, Australia, Antarctica. We're going to have to talk about your uh, naming of the continents when we're done with this, by the way. Are we going to talk about it now? You don't know the song? No, no I know the uh, the ABCs. That's it. Okay, so you got <clears throat> North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, the seven continents. I'm going to go Europe, final answer. <laughs> no reaction to my song. <laughs> Uh, it was Australia. Hold on, son of a bitch. Yep, yep, that's okay. It's all right. No, come on, okay. So you're not smarter than a second grader, but you might be smarter than a third grader. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. So we're going to go with third grade. Let's go third grade math. How do you, how do you feel about that? Math was always my strongest subject, so, uh. Okay. I'm either going to look like an idiot or, uh, I'm going to be smarter than a third grader. (laughs) <laughs> uh, how many grams are in a thousand kilograms? 
how many grams in a thousand kilograms grams so can i use my calculator based off the answer you sh- i wouldn't say you need it but you can i'm not going to say no i think third graders have calculators they do and i'm they theirs are probably a lot better than mine uh one two three a million that's correct look at that one million okay you were on the fourth grade. How about history? Fourth grade history. How's that sound? Awful. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, this one has Florida in the question. That's only fitting. I have to ask it. I wasn't Ponce... in Florida in fourth grade, though. This is correct. Ponce de Leon discovered Florida, but what was he actually looking for? Hmm. Now, you're not biggest movie guy, but there is a Pirates of the Caribbean movie surrounded about this. Which one was it? I'm going to go with, ooh, three or four. Was three or four the one with uh, Harry Potter's uncle? It was like a king or something. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was the uh, the Fountain of Youth one. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's the answer. That's what he's looking for? That's it. Ah, well, look at that. Some, sometimes uh, sometimes these things just happen. <laughs> yeah, whatever that one was, uh, Vernon was like the king or... Oh, you're right. Yeah, something. Like, yeah, yeah, he was like uh, right before he, he passed, I think. Well, when you said uncle, I was thinking of Sirius Black. Sirius. Like, uh, and Gary Oldman in that. any pirates. Right, right, right. Okay. No, that was, that was a Vernon. All right. Fifth Step grade, your final time. question. I think we're on science. We are. Let me find my science for you. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, grade science. You know, my, my aunt was a science teacher, right? Oh, yeah? Yeah, seventh grade. Well, this is fifth, so. That's that's not to say that I'm going to get it. That's to say that I'm going to disappoint her. If you need to phone a friend, you know who to call. Okay. I might do that. Was it who wants to be smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah. I'll be honest, there's a question on here that we're not, no, I don't want to do it to you. I want you to get it. So we're going to go with what species can live on both water and land? Amphibians. That is correct. Well done. Ask the one that you were going to ask. Uh, Which tool is used to estimate the likelihood of certain genetic outcomes? Zero percent probability. You've even heard of this before. What is the first letter? A P. It's it's something scope. Close. It's something square. Okay. No, Pythagorean square. Next. Yeah, yeah. It's the the punnet or the punit. One or the other. Not sure how to say it because I've never heard of it. Square. Punit square, punnet square. Couldn't tell you. That is not fifth grade science. Um, David, it's on the the list on fifth grade mm-hmm. science. <laughs> well, all right. You got four or five. Not not terrible. I'm not happy about it. Well, there'll be other opportunities, I can tell you. You literally started that segment with, I have a master's, and <laughs> now I think uh, I think University of Maryland's probably going to be investigated now. I did that on purpose because I was like, you know what? If he gets one wrong, I'm going to look like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. It's weird. All right, well. Well, as we mentioned, the majority of our hanging out was for football. Um, Mm. Neither of us are Chiefs or 49ers fans. Not in the slightest. But, obviously, that's that's what's coming up. So, we're going to talk about some some Super Bowl bets real quick. Mm. Okay. Um, Not to say either of us are going to take them, or that we recommend them, or suggest them, but... I want your input on a few of these. Now, are these going to be like legit bets or more along the lines of what comes? Yeah, so read? like, well, so the first one I've got is the Chiefs are favored by two. How do you feel about that? I already don't like it. I think San Francisco dominate the whole game. Whole game. Why do you think that? Well, better team, all around better team. 
Chiefs only put up 17 in the AFC Championship against a very, very nervous and just giddy Ravens team that just couldn't put it together in the big moment. And I think the Niners are much more composed under Shane A. And, and it's just going to be a dominant performance. Are we sold on Purdy yet? I'm, I mean, I'm sold on the fact that he's good enough. Good in the enough. NFL. Yeah, he's good enough. Uh, right. But after he, after he hopefully wins the Super Bowl here, I think the whole world's going to go. I'd rather see him than a certain. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's conversation for another time. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm I'm going Niners. <laughs> I would I would take okay. points. Yeah. Fair. Uh did you see I don't remember what the statistics were, but something about like in the last three or four years, the the team wearing I don't know if it was white or their primary color has won or no, I think it in the last like twenty years or something, teams wearing their primary color like seventeen and three. Okay. Did you see something so, about that? No. I know Baltimore won in the white in twenty twelve. Maybe it was teams wearing white, or maybe they were part of the, I don't know. Anyways, I didn't know if you'd seen that. I saw it the other day. No. So, speaking of Purdy, uh, over under 244 and a half pass yards. I would say over. Uh, and Mahomes, 262 and a half. I'm going to go under. All right, we got McCaffrey rush yards, 91 and a half. Oh, that's high. And that's just rush, not all purpose. Right, right. Are they going to come out slinging it, or are they going to come out pounding it? That's the question. Um, or McCaffrey breaks you tell a me. 75-yard run. I'm going to go over. I'm going over. Okay. And Pacheco, 69 and a half. Nah, under. Under. All right. Well, uh, those are those are the over-unders for the game. Now I got some uh, some special props. Okay. Hit um, Regarding one of your favorite people in the world, none other than... Travis Kelsey's girlfriend. I don't know if you know the background on how she has, I think, a a concert like the night before or something in Japan. Yeah, so she's got this whole thing that she's got to have to do, like perform and fly and sleep and get up and go. So the first one is, will her travel from Japan be shown on national broadcast? It's a minus 700 for no and a plus 400 for yes. So on the CBS live. Right. Obviously, the travel they show isn't going to be live. But will they show, like, her her plane in flight or her landing or or Japan? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say yes. The next one is uh, what color top will she be wearing? I'm not going to go through and list all the colors and the odds, but... uh, Red. Okay, that's that seems to be what everybody thinks. That's minus five hundred. So, are we going to just put like a dollar on all these bets just to see how it works, and parlay yeah. them all together? Yeah, we could do that. A dollar. I don't know if we'll parlay them all together. That uh, I mean, one might net us retirement, but I don't yeah. Know. Okay, so which will be higher, Travis Kelsey receptions or Taylor Swift live shots? Mm. To give you some perspective, the over-under on her shots is five. It's five. Well, so they basically basically only thing. show her once he does something. But it's going to be the Super Bowl. I'm going to say his receptions are higher. Okay. Because he's old, he's old, reliable, you know. He is. He had, he had a great showing in Baltimore. He looked awesome. Uh, to be as much as I don't like the man, he played really well. Re- you don't like him either. I thought it was just Mahomes you didn't like. Not a fan. That's okay. It's okay. I'm sure there's people he doesn't like either. He's so dating a pop superstar and he's in the Super Bowl and we're here trying to get a podcast started. So who was uh who was our Taylor Swift? See if we have the same answer. Uh, R. Taylor Swift. I got the one. first thing that comes to mind is is Britney. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Just, but not sure there were probably others. 
Hopefully, for uh, Taylor's sake, she doesn't end up that way. But well, I'm, I'm going to go Brittany. Brittany rebounded. She did okay. Yeah, does she still even have control of her assets? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> nah, I couldn't either. I couldn't either. All right, well, that's all I got for the bets. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll put a dollar on each of them, and uh, we'll let the listeners know how we did. You sure you don't want to parlay? I'm not going to parlay all of them. Hey, we could put a dollar on a parlay, but I'm not I'm not optimistic about a parlay. Well, why don't we talk about the the world of David next month in see a month and twenty days? You got a big day. Yeah, yeah, I do. A ring on it. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 yeah, I uh, I liked it, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's uh, what I what I learned from Beyonce herself. Yes. Yeah, that'll that'll be fun. I uh, I keep telling everyone that uh, I'm a little jealous. We haven't shown you the the venue or anything, right? Like any picture. Uh, I've I've seen it. It looks phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. So it's just the whole setup is great. I mean, it's beautiful. Like it's it's gonna be a great wedding. I'm glad. It's mine, but I'm a little jealous of all of you guys that get to go and enjoy the party aspect of it, and just to be there yeah. tanked, just because it's just... it sounds like so stressful for you too. Uh, yeah, I mean that that's right expected. I think it's a it's a stressful day. Yeah, yeah, so much going on. Yeah, a lot of people you probably haven't seen in a long time, and everyone you know just wants to say hi and and hang right. out, and there's a lot going on. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to with the, uh, I guess, just the ceremony and or reception in general? Is it something that you're like, I can't wait for just like the music to start playing and everyone's had a couple drinks and they're just dancing or? I think it's just, man, I got a s- sweet menu lined up. I can't wait to eat that sea bass. <laughs> so we were talking about that yesterday. We don't even remember what we put on the menu. I think just. So you know every time I used to come back home to Maryland, it was like the thing to get everybody together for like a dinner. Like, you know, all the all the individual groups of friends that, you know, they didn't hang out, but they all liked each other. So getting those right, people right. together was always fun. So I think it's just kind of that to include, you know, her friends, my friends, her family, and my family, and, you know, people neither of us have seen for 10 years, just having all of them together. I think it's going to be fun. Hopefully we can acknowledge all of them. Like you were saying, I know usually you go to weddings and you know the the bride and groom make their rounds. And you you get a hey thanks for coming and this and that. That'll be stressful to try to make sure we hit everybody, but I would say probably. Well, my par- my parents are excited for sure. Good, yeah, we got their RSVP. Good, good, good. yeah, that's fun. fun. I'm fun. excited too. I can't good. wait. Now I'll tell you, I <laughs> I'm looking right now at a box that I still haven't opened and tried on. I, uh, groom, groomsman suit that's over there. Funny you say that because mine's still in the box too. I haven't tried it on. Okay. All right. All right. I don't feel as bad. I bought, I bought a, a little bit smaller. So I was, a, I might as well wait until I get a little smaller to try it on. So a little bit of motivation. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this week sometime I'll put it on because I know I'm going to have to go get a tailored too. And I don't know how, how backed up they're going to be. But Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea for myself as well. We'll see. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's fun. We we'll got that going on. Can't wait. Heck, love yeah. you, babe. Married man. Yeah. We could. Did stop. you ever think in eighth grade be like, oh, I'm going to be a groomsman in this dude's wedding? What's a groomsman? I mean, the way our conversation started that began our friendship, I, I wouldn't have guessed any other outcome. We did connect pretty quickly, basically. Yeah. When uh, when the foundation of your friendship is that, there's it, it's typically only uphill from there. Well, you're you're pretty good at telling that story. I would say, why don't you let let everyone know uh, exactly how this wonderful 22 year old relationship uh, sparked? Well, I don't I, I don't know if it's anything to be proud of. Uh, I don't know. If no, no, nope, it's not. Uh, so as he said earlier, uh, we grew up in Maryland. Uh, for those of you that remember, there was the the DC sniper in, uh, I guess it would have been whatever year we were in eighth grade, right? So 2002 ish. Uh yeah, because I had just moved to Annapolis. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I went from all the kids standing outside of the school before the bell rings to have to go sit in the cafeteria and all that. So I was 
for those of you that also know that Grand Theft Auto 3 was a pretty popular game at that time. Well, let's talk about the DC Sniper for a second, because maybe some people are just like, never heard of it. So so it was a, as sad of a situation as it was, it was a um, gentleman uncle and his son, nephew. uncle and nephew, okay, yeah. um, in the Maryland, Virginia, Washington, D.C. area, and they were driving around D.C. shooting innocent civilians, typically uh, near Walmart highway lots. Yeah. Right, so they could make their shot and get away quickly. Um, and it lasted for, God, what? I think a couple months. Yeah, at least a few months. And it got to the point where gas stations would hang tarps up so that you couldn't see people pumping their gas. Most school stops and buses stopped. Parents just took their kids to school, running in and out of any kind of convenience store. I mean, I remember we were right by the Annapolis Mall when we first moved there, just in an apartment, which is right by the highway, like right by it. And we'd get out of the car and mom would be like, Take my hand. Here we go. And we just right. we're running to the front door. Right. We would sprint. It's a scary time for that that whole millions of people that lived in that area. So yeah. So just a little background for you. Right. So ultimately they were they were caught operating out of a I think it was a Chevy Caprice Classic, right? Or something like that. And they Yeah, so dark uh, blue Chevy. Yeah, they, yeah. They had drilled out uh the keyhole in the trunk and the shooter was in the trunk and that's that's how they were firing but reported all over the news outlets and everywhere else was that they were in a white van a Chevy Astro van so there was a very brief description white and van right yeah so you know they they had checkpoints set up around Jesus they were even down right outside South River at one point um but yeah all yeah. highways and yeah and they were just stopping every but- white van and they would put a, a sticker on a white van after it had been checked, like, okay, this right. van has been cleared. Yeah. That way, the, next yeah. checkpoint. Right, right. Right. So, yeah, so Grand Theft Auto was a, a popular game at the time. And, uh, what a story to lead into a lifelong friendship here. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Again, we're not proud of it, but, uh, you know, look what it's become. Yeah. So That's we're cool. we're in social studies in eighth grade. And yeah, Ms. Morrison. Yeah. Ms. Morrison. And... We were sitting kind of adjacent. The there were like two rows facing. There was a camera this way, and then there was another row facing this way. Right. And I was sitting in the the middle row, I think. And then you were off to one of the sides. And I don't remember who I was talking to or how it even came up or or, or what. But basically, uh, we were talking about yeah, you know, I, I like to drive around in in white vans and Grand Theft Auto and hop out and snipe people and then just jump in and speed away and I hear this laughter coming out of like the corner when I look over and I see Chris like ha, 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 yeah I do that too <laughs> and I don't even know how it how it escalated from there or if it was like cool do you want to come over and do that together or or how <laughs> right. how that even right. progressed but, uh, yeah yeah that was it that was it here we are that was the beginning yeah here we so, are. Uh, I mean that was uh it, it ended well but I guess you could say that was a poor choice that was a very poor choice. Very poor choice. So, but it led to a better. It led to this. It did. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Right. So that's that. Okay. I have just. I just have a quick question for you, and I wanted to see if you can like name three, three of them, three of these things. Okay. But three without an incorrect answer, also. One, two, so I gotta get three in a row. Yeah, yeah, three yeah. in a row. Gotta get the sweep. That's a very popular uh, genre in the past five, ten years, and I know you've never seen ninety-nine percent of them. I want to, I want to see if you can name at least three in a row. How many Avengers can you name? Mm-hmm. How many are there? A lot. Plenty. Iron Man. All right, one for one. We're good. Shit. 
I thought this would be a good question. Spider-Man. Okay, that's two. That's two. You know, I heard some segment about this just the other day, and, and it, it wasn't like quiz questions like this, but they were talking about it, so I'm trying to think back to all the people they were talking about. What what topics or what people, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could I preface it with I don't think it is? Well, remember, you got to go three for three. I mean, so I, I'm going to go I would Incredible try. Hulk. That is a correct answer. Very good. Very good. All right. We'll take If you asked for four, I, I probably wouldn't have got it. I only said do three in a row because you could have just started naming super as I, and I wa- Right, 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 right. So I just wanted to make sure that, well, there you go. So you got three. See? So is, I almost said Poison Ivy. Is that one? Uh, so she is in the Batman universe, which would be DC and not Marvel. So is everybody in the Marvel universe an Avenger? Uh, no, the Avengers would be the group of specific superheroes in the Marvel universe that band together. Wouldn't they avenge? <laughs> uh, wrongdoing and evil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And hmm. People taking over the world and ending millions of lives and all that good stuff. Okay. I did it. Good job. Nice. Very good. Yeah. I'm proud. I'm proud. All right. I have a couple. All right. Since we're we're testing knowledge here, I'm going to ask you something that you're a little more familiar with than I am of the Avengers. Can you name the top five longest rivers in the world? Doesn't have to be in any particular order. All right. Let me say Amazon, Nile, Mississippi. Yeah. One, two, and three. Excuse me. One, two, and four. Two and four. The Rhine? That is not one. Okay. The Thames on there? It is not. If it helps, I don't know how to pronounce either of these. Oh, that makes it even worse. To make it even better, they both start with a Y. Yucatan? That's a peninsula. Mm, You're right. (laughs) They start with a Y, huh? Yeah. Can you give me a... uh continent that they're on I can't uh, I can look it up for you though <laughs> uh, with a Y with a Y river uh, and you can't pronounce it so I'm thinking maybe somewhere in either the Middle East or Asia maybe maybe let me look it up alright so one is in China and one is in Central Siberia <laughs> Uh, I got nothing. Not a- nothing. All right. So uh, if you the one in, go ahead. I'll say if you said name like top three, I got what I get three of the top four. You did, yeah. You got Amazon, Nile, and Mississippi. Yeah. There's the in China. There's the the Yangtze. It's Y A N G T Z E. Okay. And now I know. In Siberia, it's the Yenisei. 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 Okay. All right. I haven't heard of either, either of it, no. but... No, I thought like the Yangtze. The Yangtze, that sounds... Well, hang on. Is that, is that like uh, like Douglas Yangtze funny? Like something like that? Yeah. Just spelled yeah. different. Yeah. 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 And I guess the other one would be Douglas Yenisei funny. I thought Yenisei would be like a like a drink you have at the club. That's Hennessy. Nah. <laughs> Good stuff. Good well, stuff. While while we're on the topic of uh, places, yeah, I think it has to do with a map. I... Well, not. It's no. It's it's a uh, knowledge of cities in our great country of the United States. Okay. And I wanted to see. One, how many you think you can do, and two, how many you can do, and that is state capitals for all 50 states. Now, maybe we'll narrow this down a little bit in post for everybody, but uh, I want to go through, and first, what's your over-under, what do you think, out of 50 states, how many state capitals can you name? 24. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. You just want to go through the list and... 
Yep, and I'm going to pull up something to make little tallies every time you get something right here. I should write a little check down or something. Okay. Alabama. We're off to a good start. Birmingham. Oh, that is incorrect, sir. All right, so we had Montgomery there. Nah, okay. Yeah, no. Uh, how about Alaska? Mm. Juno. Yes, got one there. Uh, how about Arizona? I don't know, so I'm just going to go Phoenix. It is. It's also the most populated capital city in the whole country. 1.6 million people. The most popular capital? Populated capital. Didn't know that. Okay. After Arizona, you've got Arkansas. I'm going to skip that one. Okay. Uh, we're going to go California. Well, what's the answer? Oh, a uh, little route. Sacramento. Sacramento is correct. How about Colorado? I don't know. That would be Denver. I feel like you could at least, let's guess, yeah, let's get some guesses at least here. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, how about Connecticut? I don't know if I can name a city in Connecticut. Think of like a a, a very prestigious college. It kind of has a similar. Hartford. Yes, there you go. Delaware. You got to know that. Dover. That is Dover. Florida. Tallahassee. Here we are. Tallahassee, very good. How about Georgia? Augusta. It is Atlanta. I thought that was one of those tricksters. Yeah, that's tough. How about Hawaii? Honolulu. It is Honolulu. Not a trickster. Yeah. Uh, I don't Idaho. think many of them are. Idaho. Boise. Gotta be Boise. Gotta be. Illinois. You said that like it's not Chicago. Yeah, think of the Simpsons. Springfield. Yeah, there you go. I didn't ask for a clue. I just, the way you were like, oh. Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> Illinois, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indiana. I feel like I got to say every state like that now. Indiana. I don't know. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think that's a pretty good one. Yeah. How about Iowa? Des Moines. That's it. How about Kansas? Topeka. That is Topeka. You're doing pretty darn good. How about Kentucky? I got nothing. Wait. Oh. Well? I got nothing. It's going to be Frankfurt, Kentucky. Uh, Louisiana. New Orleans. It's going to be Baton Rouge. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, how about Maine? Augusta. Yep, yep. Yeah, I did it. Maryland, that's an easy pass. Or correct, I should say. Annapolis. How about, how about Massachusetts? I'm going to go Boston. It is Boston. How about Michigan? Lansing. Yeah. Fuck Minnesota. Minneapolis. It's going to be St. Paul. Good man, uh, St. Paul was. <laughs> Mississippi. I am for real. Jackson. <laughs> yeah. well, that was a good hit. Okay. That was. That was great. Uh, Missouri. Uh, Kansas City. It is a city. Jefferson. Yes, it is. How about Montana? Think of a, a woman's name. Helena. Begins with a hate. H. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nebraska. It's going to be an ex-president. Old school. You, Maybe the most popular president. You can't give me a, a a clue on something I'm equally not knowledgeable about. But we'll go with we'll go with Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah. Nevada. Reno. It's going to be Carson City. That is, isn't it? How about New Hampshire? Nope. Nothing. That's going to be Concord. Uh, New Jersey, right next door to us in Maryland. Trenton. Yeah, there you go. Good shit. New Mexico. Albuquerque. We're looking for Santa Fe today, sir. I think I had Breaking Bad on my mind. How about New York? Albany. Albany is correct. How about North Carolina? Raleigh. It is Raleigh. How about North Dakota? Bismarck. 
is Bismarck. How about Ohio? Toledo. Looking for Columbus. Mm. Oklahoma? Oklahoma City. There you go. Do you say Oregon or do you say Oregon? It's Oregon. Who says Oregon? Ah, I feel like somebody does. Well, some I'd wrong. Oregon? That's like Porygon. Or like something else wrong. Yeah, like something else wrong. Uh, okay, so so Oregon. Is it something that you would think is the capital of a different state? Yeah, yeah, could be. Salem. Yeah. Yes. How about Pennsylvania? Harrisburg. Mm-hmm. Or Rhode Island? Plymouth. We're looking for Providence there. Mm, man, that's the only one there, huh? Uh, South Carolina? Charleston. Could be Columbia. That's stupid. Uh, South Dakota? Plymouth. <laughs> we were looking for Pierre, South Dakota. Hmm. Never met him. How about how about Tennessee? I know what it is. I just can't think of it. Think Nashville. of the point guard for the Phoenix Suns. Okay, there you go. <laughs> for some reason, I couldn't get my mind off of Knoxville. And I was like, that's not it. How about Texas? Austin. Yep. How about Utah? It's something city, right? It is. Is it Salt Lake? City? Heck yeah, it is. Vermont. This is my favorite. Montpelier. And this is, it is the lowest populated capital city in America. Well, how about that? Only 8,000 people. Did I get it? You did. How about Virginia? I feel like you got this one. I don't think it's what I want to say. I think it is. Arlington. Oh, it's it's not. <laughs> I didn't. Th- I didn't think it was. Uh let's see. Their basketball team is the Spiders, like in college. That helps. No. Nope. It's the Richmond Spiders. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about Washington State? Olympia. Well, yeah. There you go. Olympia. Uh, Charles. Oh, West Virginia. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Charleston. Final answer. Oh, that's correct. Neat. <laughs> How about Wisconsin? I got nothing. It's going to be uh, Madison? Wyoming. So what is it? <laughs> it's going to be Cheyenne. Was that all of them? Give it to me straight, Doc. Yeah. You got 34. That's pretty good, dude. You said 24, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Well, uh... How about some things that you probably don't know? Shit. <laughs> Can you name the top five fastest wing flappers between um, between bugs, one. bugs and birds? Yeah, I'm gonna say number one's a hummingbird. Number one is a hummingbird. Uh, I'm also gonna go with a a bee, just like in general, like a bee. Yeah, bumblebee, number four. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say like a fly or like a gnat we'll give it to you uh fruit flies number yeah, three okay can you give me are they both a bird or insect or are they one of one or they are both insects they're both insects okay now for number two it says it's a specific type of this i'm gonna, I'm gonna go with dragonfly dragonfly go general dread not dragonfly well uh, i was how about well, you don't like little. one of them. Nobody likes one of them. Nobody likes them. Nobody likes them. I'm sure somebody likes them. I can't think of any reason anybody would. Oh, it's a mosquito. It's a mosquito. It is a mosquito. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mosquitoes are number five. Number two, uh, I think most you... people are probably indifferent. So. Okay. It wasn't, there wasn't a beetle. You heard me say beetle. It was not a beetle. I heard your beetle. No beetle. beetle. What about? I'm just trying to think of a little fucker, just like zooming around. What about? Hmm. Are they in? Like, do we have them here? Like they're here? Yeah, I think they're everywhere for the most part. Do you want a clue? Yeah. Think of a like a goth butterfly. 
moth. A moth. Moths are number two. Oh, that was it. Speeds. Uh, that was it. Oh, yeah. You seem a little uh, questionable about that. Huh? Yeah. I I picture a moth kind of flying like a butterfly, just like hey, I'm just you know. Yeah, I don't know how high. Uh, well, so it's actually sphinx moths. I'm not sure what's different about them. I was just kind of going you can going for moths in in general. I don't know if you are. Uh, well versed on the different species of moths, so uh, there's big ones and little ones. I can tell you that much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, not not bad, not bad. All right. So, Mister David, I want you to rank these cars blindly from one to five. One being the best, five being the worst. First one being a Corvette, and I don't know what comes next. Nope. Nope. Could be a some kind of lemon, some geo. Or it could be a Lamborghini. You never know. All right. Let's go with, uh, we'll play it safe and we'll put it at three. Three for Corvette. Okay. Could you go with a Porsche? Any Porsche? Yeah. Pick your best, your favorite. All right. I think you might come through with a sleeper. So I'm going to leave one open and go ahead and put that at two. Okay. I'm going to go with Ferrari at number, number three is your third choice. Now I think you might be setting me up. So I'll go ahead and put it at one. Ferrari at one, wow. Yeah, let's do it. Not knowing what's coming behind it, huh? Yeah, playing it safe. I would never I would never own a Ferrari and have someone come up in, in something nicer and feel bad about it. So I wouldn't be like, oh man, I have a $500,000 car. I wish I had your million dollar car. I'm okay with a Ferrari. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. All right. How about a Camaro? We'll put it at four. As an next Camaro owner, you're putting it at four, huh? Well, I only have four or five left, so. Last one is going to be a GTR by Nissan. Okay, we'll put it at five. I'm not happy. I, I'd probably switch that up with the Camaro. Okay, so keep your one, two, and three. Yeah, depending on the Corvette. I mean, if it's like base model Stingray, give me the GTR, but. If you're going to give me a Z06, I'll take it. Okay. So you're half mad at it. Yeah, not mad at it. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. I got a, a game. I guess we could come up with a name for it later, but we'll call it categories for now. Category. So basically the way this works is I'm going to think of a category. You're not going to know about it. You're going to guess random series of things one by one, and I'm going to answer yes or no as to whether or not it's in the category. Once okay. you've guessed three things that are in the category, so once you get three yeses, you have to guess the category. Okay. it's The category is going to be like things, like things that this. So for example, like things that are heavy or like things that are yellow or like gotcha. things that you can put on your head. Okay, so, okay. And after three yeses, I have to guess the category? You got to guess the category. Okay. Cardboard box. No. Okay. How about T-shirt? No. A fork? No. A shoe? No. Not traditionally. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Picture frame. Also, not traditionally, but right, right. could I be. Just test, I was testing you. Yeah. yeah. A ceiling fan. On or off? Uh, on. On. Yes. Yes to an on ceiling fan. Yeah. Well, I think that that would qualify. Okay. An ice cube. Could be, but it's not. But it is solid, but it's not solid enough to be a yes. So it's not going to do it. It's got to be a brick. No. Oh. Bottle of water. Yes. Crap. (laughs) So yes to a bottle of water and a ceiling fan that's on, not off. Okay. Yes. Swimming pool. In ground or above ground? (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm going to go non traditional and say above ground. I would say 80% of them, but I can't give you a yes. I, I feel like I can't make you guess the category based on ceiling fan, water bottle, and swimming. Okay. A blanket. No. Okay. The ocean. No. It's part of something that is, though. The beach. No. Just naming random stuff is a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Give you a clue. Okay. So, look at me. Now look down like two inches. Beer. Not, not, not down on the screen, but down like physically nose nope not on not on me oh like so you're looking like you said look at you (laughs) right look at me and then go down like two inches my laptop no closer to you what is he trying to tell me right now so when you when you look down two inches (laughs) there's there's literally something right in front of your face it's my nose no, that's on your face. In front of oh, face. My microphone? Uh, there's something standing between you and your microphone. All right, so you're going to say yes to pop filter? Yes. So an on-ceiling fan. Think of the on-ceiling fan from a visual standpoint. Things that are circular. You got it. Things that are round. Ooh, round, yeah. Okay. Okay. How about it? I'm proud. Oh, so so the ocean, it's part of the was ocean. part of it's like round. right, exactly. Uh, okay. You said uh, beach. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's it's connected to it. No, it's, it's like I said it's part of it. Yeah, it's part of it. Yeah, the only yeah. thing that's part of the ocean. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I like cool. That. Not bad for a first time. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. It's tough to just like pick random. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Right, Buffy. especially when there's so much shit around, you need to sit in like a blank room. But I feel yeah. like the water bottle, though, like unless you're looking down on it, it's not round. So, yeah, when you were telling me to look down, I was like, look at, you're like, <laughs> look, you were like, look at me and look down. No, look at look at yourself right, and look, no, no, look over here and look. I was like, what? what's Just happening? Like, pivot two inches. Yeah. Oh, that's it. So then I looked at like your feed on my on my monitor, and I was like. Trying to figure out what exactly two inches is. I was like, your cheek, your lips, uh, what's it? You started looking at me at two inches down from me. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let me hit you back with something then. All right. We're going to go into the realm of music. We started off this first podcast with you going after all of the shit that I am unfamiliar with. I look. I would stop watching after this first episode. I was like, yeah, this dude's an idiot. <laughs> Look, you got <laughs> master's degree, my ass. You got 34 state capitals. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's passing, I guess. Yeah. Thousand percent. Not even smarter than a third grader. All right. So you're going to hopefully name three songs from, I have one, two, three, four bands. I want you to name three songs from. Okay, let's hope I've heard of the bands. All right, first band is Queen. Bohemian Rhapsody. That's the one song that they sang, yes. This is awful. How about uh, Think of the Mighty Ducks? We Are the Champions. Now we're talking. Yeah, there you go. Is that what you're going for? Yep. Oh, shit. I knew that one. I was hoping you were going for something different. (laughs) What are we? No. Need more humans? No, us specifically, you and I. Men. Yeah, more specific. Males? No, like not. Homo sapiens? Not that general. Best friends. Mm, okay. That's the word in the song, in the title of the song. Mm. Friends in low places. Goodbye, best friend. What am I? You're my best friend. <laughs> there you go. There you go. If I want three songs from the Beatles. I fucking knew you were going there. <laughs> Yellow Submarine. Yeah, that's one. You know what? Speaking of which, that's what I thought of when I saw that. There you go. Okay, that's one. Yellow Submarine. Hey Jude. Hey Jude, that's one. Yep. So you got Yellow Submarine and Hey Jude. 
you want a hint for one more? Yeah, go for it. For those of you See, listening, I'm an idiot. I'm going to try to explain the more complicated song title in clues, because I think this will be very entertaining. So, uh, the rank below a lieutenant. Enlisted. No. So, after private. Before at least sergeant. Sergeant, okay. That, those are completely different classes. So, lieutenant, yeah. officer, and private is enlisted, and then it goes sergeant. So, you can't promote to a lieutenant. You have to commission to lieutenant. Okay, so I was just going for the rank below lieutenant. There's a lot of them, but okay. It's just sergeant. General. <laughs> sergeant. <laughs> All right. Not salt. Pepper. Plural. Peppers. Mm -hmm. And if you're, you know, you feel like no one loves you and no one cares about you and you're just kind of all by yourself. So where Sergeant Pepper is lonely. Lonely. And then it beats. It's in your chest. It's February. It's that time of the of the year. Heart. Plural. Sergeant Pepper's lonely hearts. Okay. And if you're part of a group or a society, you might even call it like a, you know, not a fraternity, Gang. but... Clan. Like, yeah. Sorority. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. It's like a more general, just like maybe when you were a kid. Click. Like the he-man woman haters, the she-man woman haters, whatever they're called from, you know. You want to join my party. Join my club. Uh, club. Okay. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. And then a group of people that play an instrument all together at the same time is... Orchestra. Symphony. You know, uh, a marching band. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. There you go. What the fuck is that song about? <laughs> Well, cause you, the, the the name of that song is a song. Jesus I Christ. Wish we, I wish we could play it, but we'd get copyrighted for that. So maybe off. I got some listen. I got to talk to Paul about that one because <laughs> that's a fucking mouthful. <laughs> All right. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Band. Mm -hmm. Probably missed a word in there. All right. We got, we got, we got, we got two more bands. Oh, we're, Jesus. We're, I forgot we're still on this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Damn it. Here's a. Switching gears a little bit. How about the Rolling Stones? I couldn't name one. Let's go to the next one then. No, I was. Uh, one. How about Led Zeppelin? Is Get the Lead Out one? Or is that a cover band? Yeah, it's a cover band. Okay. What if you're leaving your country to go to another country? You would be considered like a migrant? Yeah. Oh, you're real close. Immigrant? An immigrant. Yeah, you're there. So it's the immigrant song. There's one pretty obvious one with probably one of the best guitar solos in the history of man. Ooh. Let's see. It's where, uh, it's where God lives. Heaven. On earth. Nope. How do you get there? Stairway to heaven. There you go. Yeah. Let's see. You got nothing else? Nah, I wasn't even thinking because I, I chalked it up. I thought I was just waiting for clues. How about like a... Like a like a sweater, like a type of pullover. That's a bad clue. Cord <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> No. Uh, 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 uh. uh fleece? I don't know. Cotton? It's a cashmere. Uh but I feel like Weird Al could make a song called Corduroy. <laughs> yeah. What about like Black Dog? You ever heard Black Dog? Uh all right, so we're going to chalk that up as a maybe not your strongest category. Ryan, well, when you when you pick bands from before I was born, that wasn't the Taylor Swift of my generation, so. No. I could probably name three Britney Spears songs. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, we we hope everyone enjoyed us making some poor choices and realizing how little I actually know about a lot, so... Thank you, Chris, for that. We're going to try to get these out, hopefully, weekly. Yeah. As we said, try try a different drink every week. So tune in for that, if not to listen to us, of games and sports and pretty much everything that two dudes just want to sit around and talk about. So thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Thanks, guys. Thanks, David.
Thank you, Chris.